Hi there Aries, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at March 21st through the 27th. And happy birthday to all those Rams celebrating their big day this week. It's an interesting week because not only is the sun in your sign but Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, moves into your sign as well where it takes up residence through early May. When it moves into Taurus and, and at the end of May, it goes out of phase or retrograde. So make sure that you're crossing the T's and dotting the I's and really getting prepared for the fact that Mercury is going to go out of phase. Now also, we have a Libra lunar eclipse. And that's going to be happening on Wednesday. This eclipse will be visible in parts of North America. So check your local listings for those of you who want to look. It's a full moon, but it's also a lunar eclipse where the sun and the moon uh, briefly pass through each other. So just know that if your birthday falls within a day on either side of March 23rd, this eclipse could mean there will be an important event in your life sometime during the next 12 months. Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline, changes course on Friday, March 25th, turning retrograde in Sagittarius until August. This Saturn retrograde period is a good chunk of time, Aries, to restructure your boundaries, become more aware of your inner authority and make preparations to take complete and utter control and charge of your life. This smorgasbord of celestial events leads up to the Christian celebration of Easter on Sunday, March 27. Easter is a lunar-based holiday falling on the first Sunday after the first full moon after the spring equinox and of course that's going to be that Libran lunar eclipse. Now with Aries in your sign you really have to think before you speak and make sure that you don't hurt any tender feelings or say something that's going to re reverberate and maybe come back on you and you wish you hadn't said it. So be prepared to really think before you speak and especially with people closest to you. That lunar eclipse, of course, like a full moon, it's about coming full circle, bringing things together. And if you realize that a relationship is on its last legs, this is the time when its last legs will fall off. Or if you're, you and your partner need to really work on some things, this is the time to do so it, while it's your birthday and while you have the communicator in your sign. Thanks so much for tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.